So, if you guys didn't already know, I'm sick. I had to skip my last college golf tournament of the season. I was very, very, very upset about that. I really want to play. I like woke up the day of the golf tournament, which was on Monday. I rolled out of bed and I was like, this is not good. I can't feel my throat. It's on fire. I'm aching. I'm shivering. And then 10 minutes later, I was sweating and I was like, okay. I'm getting a fever, there is no way I should go play a golf tournament, and I didn't because it was extremely cold that day anyway, and even with me staying in the whole day, I laid in bed that whole entire day, um, the next day I was even more sick. So imagine if I would've went out into the cold and tried to survive 18 holes, there's no way I could've played all 36. So bottom line, I had to withdraw from my last college golf tournament of the season, which I was extremely upset about. It is the day after the college golf tournament, my last college golf tournament, whatever, you guys get it. It's the day after my tournament, um, and I'm feeling a little better. I feel like I'm well enough to go to the course. It's 65 degrees, so it's pretty warm. I'm just not going to really do anything energizing, like that takes a lot of energy for me today. Um, I'm going to try and like do something relaxed, maybe putting drills, chipping drills, whatever it may be. I'm not really sure what I should make this video on, but you'll know whenever I upload it because you'll see the title of the video and whatever you get it. I'll meet you guys at the course. As I start a chipping session, I typically just start feeling out the shots. I put that towel there for illustration. I'm not really trying to hit them close to the hole. I'm basically just trying to lay it on the towel and see wherever the ball rolls out is where it rolls out to. And after that, I'm just gonna keep doing that for a while. So as of now, you can tell I'm hitting a stock chip shot. It's the normal, just off the back of the foot and kind of lean into it, get that weight on the left uh, foot for me. It could be the right foot if you're a lefty, but it's basically just getting the weight onto the front foot. After this, we're gonna slowly progress into more of a soft swing. And you'll know what I mean by that as we keep going. Um, you're about to see it actually right after this time lapse, but basically more of a soft swing is me uh, here's an example actually, but I'm putting the ball a little more forward in my stance than normal and I'm not hitting down on it as much. You can also tell that my weight is more centered. So in other words, this is a complete feel shot. I've always been a feel golfer around the greens. There are some scenarios where I like to kind of play a stock chip shot. It just totally depends on how much green I have to work with. For example, if I'm hitting a flop shot, it's not going to really be a stock shot. I mean, obviously, you're gonna have to put a lot of feel into that, but if I have a little bump and run, I can kind of statistically think it out in my mind, where do I need to land this ball, and how much is it gonna roll, and from there, you can just take a normal swing at any given club. With a flop shot, you're kind of having to estimate based off feel more so than a normal like bump and run or chip shot, as you can tell. I'm slowly progressing in height and softness, and what I mean by that is, obviously, once again, I'm just feeling the golf shot, and slowly getting higher in my height. So um, it'll, it'll keep progressing, but right now we're kind of staying at the same height. I'm slowly kind of getting it up in the air a little more. After the next time lapse we watch, you'll tell that I'm actually starting to hit more of a flop shot. And that's what I love to do in the beginning of my chipping sessions. I love to just start out stock shot, move on to some field shots, and then end with some stock shots and even some more stock shots. So in today's video, I actually end with some bump and runs. Uh, the reason being is I didn't catch the other part on camera. I actually see, and as you can tell, I'm hitting flop shots now, but that's besides the point. I didn't catch the other part on camera. I ended up going and hitting the stock 60 degree, 56 and 52. And unfortunately the camera was just not working for some reason. So I apologize for that. But now we are on to the bump and run. And once again, I just call this kind of a stock chip shot. I know how far I need to hit it. Um, it's just a, a simple swing. It's not using much wrist. It's just kind of back and through. Obviously, you'll see that this one was a chip in my third shot. But you'll also tell how I actually do this from the side angle. 
here in about uh, probably 30 seconds total. But basically with this uh, stock bump and run, I'm just keeping that weight forward, weight on the front foot. It's, it's pretty normal, um, just like any other chipping stroke you've virtually ever seen. But here we're about to see the side angle and you can kind of tell what I mean by it. Um, I'm also going to play this chipping stroke in slow motion so you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. But basically guys, that is about it for today's video. Unfortunately, since the camera is not really working um, and I'm already home just kind of editing this video, I don't really feel like doing a full-blown outro and I apologize for that. But I, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you did enjoy, please stay tuned for the next one. Peace guys.